Hi everyone, in this video we're going to discuss the divisibility rules of numbers 2 to 15. Divisibility rule is a shortcut way of finding whether a given number or integer is exactly divisible by other numbers, meaning there should be no remainders. Divisible by 2. A number is divisible by 2 if the last digit is 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, or these are what we call even numbers. Okay, so let's write a few examples. 416. The last digit is 6. 6 is an even number, so therefore, 416 is divisible by 2. Next, 61,123. 3 is not an even number, so therefore, it's not divisible by 2. Divisible by 3. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. Okay, so let's try 3,162. 3 plus 1 plus 6 plus 2 is equal to 12. Is 12 divisible by 3? Yes. So meaning 3,162 is divisible by 3. Next, 40,078. 4 plus 7 plus 8 is equal to 19. Is 19 divisible by 3? No. So 40,078 is not divisible by 3. Divisible by 4. A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits are divisible by 4 or if the last two digits are two zeros. Let's try 9,516. Is 16 divisible by 4? Yes. So 9,516 is divisible by 4. Next, 500. Are the last two digits zeros? Yes. So 500 is divisible by 4. Next, 12,725. Is 25 divisible by 4? No. So therefore, 12,725 is not divisible by 4. Divisible by 5. A number is divisible by 5 if the last digit is 0 or 5. Let's try 17,413. The last digit is 3. So therefore, 17,413 is not divisible by 5. Next, 215,220. It ends in 0, so it's divisible by 5. 825 is also divisible by 5 because the last digit is 5. Divisible by 6. A number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by 2 and 3. Let's try 213. 213 is divisible by 3, but it's not divisible by 2. And according to our rule, it should satisfy both the rules for 2 and 3. So therefore, 213 is not divisible by 6. Next, 972. 972 is divisible by 2 and 3. So 972 is divisible by 6. Okay, 1,562. 1,562 is divisible by 2, but it's not divisible by 3. So 1,562 is not divisible by 6. Divisible by 7. There are a series of steps to determine whether a number is divisible by 7. Number 1. Take the last digit and multiply it by 2. Number 2. Subtract the result from the remaining digits. Number 3. If the answer is divisible by 7, then the number is divisible by 7. Repeat if the answer is still big. In order for us to understand the steps, let's take a look at this example. 553. The last digit is 3, so we need to multiply it by 2. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Now, we need to subtract 6 from the remaining digits, which are 55. 55 minus 6 is equal to 49. Is 49 divisible by 7? Yes. So 553 is divisible by 7. Let's try another example. 3,661. The last digit is 1. So 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Now, subtract 2 from the remaining digits, which are 366. 366 minus 2 is equal to 364. 364 is still big, so let's repeat the steps. 
take the last digit, which is 4, and multiply it by 2. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Then, subtract 8 from the remaining digits, which are 36. So 36 minus 8 is equal to 28. Is 28 divisible by 7? Yes. So, 3,661 is divisible by 7. Divisible by 8. A number is divisible by 8 if the last 3 digits are divisible by 8 or the last 3 digits are 3 zeros. Let's take a look at these examples. 1,960. The last 3 digits are 960. Is 960 divisible by 8? Yes. So 1,960 is divisible by 8. Next, 30,000. Are the last 3 digits zeros? Yes. So 30,000 is divisible by 8. 6,754. Is 754 divisible by 8? No. So 6,754 is not divisible by 8. Divisible by 9. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. Okay, so let's try these examples. 4,621. 4 plus 6 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 13. Is 13 divisible by 9? No. So 4,621 is not divisible by 9. Next, 23,202. 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 9. Is 9 divisible by 9? Of course. So 23,202 is divisible by 9. Divisible by 10. A number is divisible by 10 if the last digit is 0. 10,850 and 930 both end in 0, so they are divisible by 10. Divisible by 11. Again, we need to follow a series of steps to determine whether a number is divisible by 11. Number 1. Subtract the last digit from the remaining digits. Number 2. If the answer is divisible by 11, then the number is divisible by 11. Repeat if the answer is still big. Let's take a look at this example. 935. The last digit is 5. So subtract it from the remaining digits, which are 93. 93 minus 5 is equal to 88. Is 88 divisible by 11? Yes. So 935 is divisible by 11. Let's have another example. 2816. The last digit is 6. So subtract it from the remaining digits, which are 281. 281 minus 6 is equal to 275. 275 is still big, so we need to repeat the steps. The last digit is 5, and subtract it from the remaining digits, which are 27. 27 minus 5 is equal to 22. Is 22 divisible by 11? Yes. So 2816 is divisible by 11. Divisible by 12. A number is divisible by 12 if it is divisible by 3 and 4. Let's take a look at these examples. 159. 159 is divisible by 3 but not divisible by 4. Therefore, it's not divisible by 12. 2244 is divisible by 3 and 4. So it's also divisible by 12. 508 is divisible by 4 but not divisible by 3. So 508 is not divisible by 12. Divisible by 13. We need to follow these steps. Number 1, multiply the last digit by 4. Number 2, add to the remaining digits. Number 3, if the answer is divisible by 13, then the number is divisible by 13. Repeat if the answer is still big. Let's take a look at this example. 312. The last digit is 2, so we need to multiply it by 4. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. Now we need to add 8 to the remaining digits, which are 31. 31 plus 8 is equal to 39. Is 39 divisible by 13? Yes. So 312 is divisible by 13. Here's another example. 754. The last digit is 4. 4 times 4 is equal to 16. 
Now we need to add 16 to the remaining digits, which are 75. 75 plus 16 is equal to 91. If it's so big, then we can repeat the steps. The last digit of 91 is 1. So 1 times 4 is equal to 4. Add 4 to the remaining digit, which is 9. So 9 plus 4 is equal to 13. Is 13 divisible by 13? Of course. So 754 is divisible by 13. Divisible by 14. A number is divisible by 14 if it is divisible by 2 and 7. Let's take a look at these examples. 112. 112 is divisible by 2 and 7. So it's divisible by 14. 448 is divisible by 2 and 7. So it's divisible by 14. Divisible by 15. A number is divisible by 15 if it is divisible by 3 and 5. 145 is divisible by 5 but not divisible by 3. So it's not divisible by 15. 2100 is divisible by 3 and 5. So it's divisible by 15.